you know, everybody is flailing around for some paradigm, you know, some big thing that you can use to control people. The first thing that should come to mind is, wait a minute, is that true? Is it true? Well, take a look. Well, take a look. Most of the big conflicts that are going on around the world were going on right through the Cold War. Nobody was talking about them because it wasn't interesting. But they were there. Well, take a look. electrolysis into an atomic mixture of hydrogen and oxygen through one hose. And it's a clean, burn, reusable fuel source. It takes nothing from the air, it gives nothing back to the air, and when you burn, you have water as the exhaust, so to speak. It takes nothing from the air, it gives nothing back to the air, and when you burn, you have water as the exhaust, so to speak. And it's a clean, burning, reusable fuel source. First of all, you create the problem, but you get someone else to be blamed for it. First of all, you create the problem, but you get someone else to be blamed for it. You then report that problem through the media in the way you want it reported. Then you get the public to react to your problem by saying something must be done, this can't go on, what are they going to do about it? And at that point, they, who have covertly created the problem and blamed someone else, who glean that reaction of do something, then offer the solution to the problems they have created. Problem, reaction, solution. Problem, reaction, solution. Problem, reaction, solution. Problem, reaction, solution. And it works like this. You've got the big central banks that took over the turn of the last century. Sort of printing the money. They own the money machine to print the money. If a country doesn't accept their central banks, the enemy has been involved in terrorism. Giant attack fleets are landing. Save them! The whole place is obliterated so that I'm the World Bank can come in and totally enslave the population and vaccination can start and suddenly everybody's sterilized and all the kids have got autism and we're here to help you! The soldiers are all dying for the clean uranium and sarin and DX of the vaccine. For the clean uranium and sarin and DX of the vaccine. Vaccination can start and suddenly everybody's sterilized and all the kids have got autism and we're here to help you! We're here to help you! We're here to help you! The New World Order you know, there's certain species of insects uh, that are laid into other living insects, larger insects, and the babies hatch out and eat the inside of it out and then break it open and fly off. You just see this dead beetle, this husk laying there. That's what America is. We've got all these eggs in us. They're growing real fast. We're at death point. The country's probably going to die, folks. We're at death point. We're at death point. The New World Order is going to bust out of that using all our energy to set up the global empire smash and destroy and mini nuke everyone. We're at death point. The country's probably gonna die, folks. We're at death point. We're at death point. Problem reaction solution. Problem reaction solution. Problem reaction solution. Problem reaction solution. And it works like this. And in the view in the EU can stand back and say, we are fighting against these evil right-wing Americans. When in reality, Again, the creature that laid the eggs in us is sitting right over there in Europe. You understand this, folks? 
You understand that? And so it points at us. The system, the B system points at America and goes, look at that beetle. It's spinning all over the place and going crazy and fighting everyone. And then when they're done with us, the brood hatches out, total global domination, total enslavement of you and your family. And you'll have just, I mean, Bush is energizing the phony left wing. They're hatching out everywhere. They're going to totally take over. And don't think these leftists are going to care when you're getting drug off to a camp, having your guns taken. And they're going to be chitting, going, finally the U.S. came to America and stopped this fashion takeover. It feels so good. It feels so good. Finally the U.S. came to America and stopped this fashion takeover. It feels so good. They said, fine, the UN isn't popular, we'll start some new global organization. Well, NATO's now global, and it's going to be in Israel and Afghanistan and Iraq and, 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 and North Korea, and we take that over. And it works like this. Problem, reaction, solution. Problem, reaction, solution. Problem, reaction, solution. Problem, reaction, solution. We're fighting a push by a scientifically crafted dictatorship that is sworn to dehumanize you and your family.